Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Sohini from South Bay, California and I welcome you today. So today's session I wanted to focus about some tools and some strategies that could probably help some of my viewers or subscribers who are thinking if they should start their own AI or machine learning articles or blogs or even their own channels. Uh, I wanted to go over some of the tools and strategies that I have used so far. Um, so I've been on YouTube for uh, let's say about three months now and it's been a, a great experience for me so far, uh, especially the, the fact that now uh, most of the people are at home Home, they're tuned in and a lot of people are online uh, this helps me um, connect to a wider audience and also uh, get a you know quick feedback into some of the things that I'm working on uh, in order to maybe help and mentor a bigger community which is not limited to you know geographical regions anymore but it can be anywhere in the world I think it's it's a wonderful opportunity and I would definitely recommend it to anybody who's thinking of it but if you're skeptical about how to go about it or if you're thinking what you should do, um, what equipment you should get, um, that is what I wanted to talk about in our session today. If this is of interest to you, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. So I wanted to start today with a little announcement. Um, so as I have mentioned in my channel before, I recently moved to a new startup where I'm a part of the founding team and my company is called Fourth Brain. What our program does is it starts with enthusiasts in the field of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Um, the basic requirement for you to start this program is to have a you know, basic understanding of software and coding. And what we will be doing over a 16 week period is we will be first building the concepts of machine learning on our own. And then we are going to be working on industry grade project based learning so that you can then join the industrial workforce with confidence uh, about this you know program we are doing an info session on September 9th and it is on YouTube it's a it's gonna be a live stream and please check out uh, the link in the description box and this uh, uh, you know channel in order for you to get as much information it is an absolutely free live event um, so please make sure that you you sign in you you get all of the information that you require we have the whole team and even we have guest speakers at the session uh, so don't miss out and even if you do miss out we can send you the link to this recorded stream that you can then have for you know answering any questions that you may have all right so let's get to content creation so I was deep rooted in writing research papers and I had never thought of blogging and again video creation was just totally out of the, the window I'd never even thought about it but then when I you know, got into the, the habit of doing these, I understood how I can actually focus my energy. So whenever I feel um, depressed or whenever there, there are like, you know, work related frustrations or, or anything, I like to channel my energy to helping others. And I create videos, I, I try to you know, answer as many posts or respond to as many messages I get in, in LinkedIn. And that is my way to channel my energy so that I know I'm doing good work rather than getting uh, more and more more anxious about the things that are bothering me so that is the the process or that's the reason why I started this channel and over the period you know do due course of three months now we have a good uh, subscriber base now we have a good audience that that you know we can actually talk to and as I mentioned my goal here was to build an AI community so that if anybody has questions we should be able to talk amongst ourselves so there might be a lot of questions that I do not have the answers to but through this community or through this channel, I can actually reach out to other people who have the answers or the resources, and then maybe we can you know, work these uh, problems out together. So if I ever get any resources, if I get any information, I like to share it on my channel. It can be something like how to cope with rejection or how to cope with bad news or you know some of the trends that I'm seeing with, with the technical coding rounds per se, uh, at least in the Valley, because they're supposed to be the hardest. Um, so, and, and whenever I get to know them, I like to pass them around. And uh, that's the reason why, even though I'm a researcher and I'm an educator and, and I write research papers, I chose my channel topic to be career coach. 
So you can find a lot of videos on YouTube out there as to how to start a channel and I'm not going to repeat um, you know what a lot of great content creators have already you know put out there but I would put my two recommendations that you should think of before you start your own YouTube channel because if you're thinking you should definitely do it because you have that germ in it already all you need to do is propagate it so the two things that um, I would like uh, as again this is my recommendation is first of all build a goal for yourself what is it that you're really trying to achieve for me, what I wanted to do, like I said, was create a community and create a community means I needed to have subscribers. And in order to you know, get to a good subscriber base uh, fast, I did you know, promote my, my channels through uh, you know, YouTube and uh, you know, through Google Ads. And again, I've, I've been pretty happy with, with it. Uh, but again, if my intention was to organically grow it in order to get to, let's say, the thousand subscriber base, well, it would be very hard to get it in, in a short amount of time so set your own goals and make sure they are reasonable because if you set unreasonable targets for yourself you'll only get disappointed and you will stop making videos which is something which you don't want to do you actually have to think about what you need to say sometimes you'll even have to script it then again you need to think about the equipment that, that you know how you're gonna place it then then tape it then there's post processing then there's the thumbnail uploading there's a whole you know shebang that goes into it and uh, I'm glad I did it and, and I'm glad I even uh, you know did the, uh, the you know the Google Ads and the, and the marketing campaigns because I was able to make sure my content is tailored to the subscribers and listen to them more so um, that's why it's very important for you to first of all understand what you will be creating content about and also create a reasonable target now for you know new creators out there I'll say twice a week is a good enough target. Uh, try not to have a goal of having more than that because that can really bother you. And what will happen is after a few weeks, you'll just shut down. So when I was doing the build your own research internship, I was uh, you know, posting videos, uh, you know, to two videos a week and that was really hard. So now I've dialed back to you know, one to maximum two a week, but you know, that's a, a good enough target. Now, um, so that was the, the, the first recommendation that I had. And the second, of, co of course, you need to understand what you're trying to achieve. That means if you're trying to achieve, uh, if, if you're trying to push a product, then again, that's a whole other way of marketing it. But what are you really you know, aiming at? Is, is it, you know, are you just trying to build a channel where you're, you're trying to talk to people about, you know, educational component and, and stuff like that? Or, you know, are you wanting more views? Are you wanting more subscribers? or do you really not care and you just want your channel to grow in a in a normal pace because um, what I have seen is again if a lot of people might be knowing about the YouTube partnership program which is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time which is actually a lot at least when I started I thought hey maybe I'll be able to hit it you know in, in one year but it's really hard <laughs> and honestly now I've given up uh, so what I really thought is that now I've been able to you know create this community for ourselves let's utilize it as a platform for others so if there are listeners or subscribers out there who want to start you know vlogging or, or you know writing posts or even uh, you know contributing to the community AI and ML community I invite you to contact me maybe we can do a zoom call and you can explain about some concepts and tools and we can make a video about it and then we can collaborate on it till you feel confident in order to start your own channel so this is something that I'm offering if you're interested I'm actually working with a few collaborators right now but this could be a good way for you to you know get started till you understand the, the pace and, and it becomes your own uh, finally I wanted to give you some insights as to the equipment that I'm using now for the first thing that I did install was uh, the post processor so I'm using Filmora 9 for that and for thumbnail creation I use Canva because it is really fast and it's it's really sleek um, the other equipments that I did get is of course a lapel mic but this lapel mic you know plugs into my my iPhone and I use my iPhone 8 to you know capture the the, the videos and then I use the Wi-Fi photos to uh, download that onto my computer I do have a, a podium and of course I do have a ring light as well and I do have a, a separate set of lapel mic and, and earphones that go for my uh, laptop so um, these are all the equipments that I bought I don't think I spend more than a hundred dollars for all of this um, so that's pretty much you know cheap and I will put links to everything in the description box below for anybody to utilize it 
and if you need any guidance or any comments or if there's anything else you'd like me to cover please do let me know and have a wonderful day